what's going on YouTube? Gabriel Say, aka The Truth, representing Fearless Academy. Alright, so although it is a really shitty day out, it's been raining for the past couple of days, I'm heading off to the gym. Hopefully, gonna meet up with Williams Filet. Um, we're gonna be getting a chest and triceps workout. And I changed my change my split a little bit and change my workout for chest my, well my first workout for chest so I do it twice a week stay tuned and see what what I've changed and what I'm doing differently and I'll also explain why I'm doing certain things now just to update you on what I spoke about the other day I was having a lot of problems with my calves if you haven't seen the video basically I was having a lot of problems with my calves and I felt like I'd strained something even when I was squatting or doing any kind of leg pressing movements it was just it was really it was really hurting i decided to take close to just over a week off just let it recover i did a bit of ice treatment and naisha kindly offered a massage and yeah that helped a lot so back in full swing six and a half weeks out feeling good energy levels are still good so chest and tries today stay tuned it's gonna be a good one all right guys so at the gym now Will's running a little bit late, so I'm gonna get started. But I'm actually gonna try out a new pre-workout, um, which is by Pure Labs Turbo. So yeah, we'll see what it's saying. So we kicked off with a pet deck, quite light, but not just to warm up. We really wanted to build a strong mind-muscle connection. So he was a bit high on the first set, so make sure I dropped it down to the next three. Then went on to the incline bench, starting with the bar just to make sure form was bang on. Again, mind muscle connection, make sure all the concentration on the chest before putting on one plate, which was again a warm up set. Then onto the working set, two plates. I think I've got about eight reps here. Nice squeeze at the top. And then I put a five on to make it 110. And actually got a spotter for this. I mean, I was feeling I was feeling strong, not my strongest, but then again, I'm only six weeks out now. So I kind of expected it to strength to drop a little bit. And then drop the weight down to a plate and a half and then repped out three sets of 15 reps. Before moving on to the incline dumbbell bench, this was for four sets of 12. Really just threw this in just to get an extra pump. I love my pressing movements. And then to set up for the plate load chest press for quadruple drop set. So this is 10 reps on each weight. So just keep dropping it down. And the first one was always easy but it's just waiting and just waiting to fuck you up. So you know, be prepared, it's a tough one. Feel the squeeze, feel the squeeze, every rep, squeeze at the top, squeeze at the top. It's important to get a good stretch at the back of the movement as well. Boom shakalaka, here we go with the poses. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look who just joined us. Fresh back from Las Vegas. Sorry, Las Vegas. William Holloway. Why is it said Faladay? <laughs> Faladay, Faladay. Whatever you want, baby. You know, name's the name. The back, straight from Vegas. Just take second place. Number two in the world. Guess what? That is not the end. The only way is up. Depends why I'm in the gym right now. I train the game for say. I'm about to make things happen. Team players, baby. Okay, now Williams Filet has joined us. Going to the flat dumbbell bench for three sets, 10, 8, 6. Keeping everything within the strength range. Some people say high reps, some people say volume, some people say low reps, yada, yada. 
just fuck your shit up with everything. Throw everything in there and just, you know, really work the muscles. That's, that's, for me, that's the only way to really grow. Yeah, then we went on to Incline Smith. Because there's hardly any rest, it does get one hell of a pump. It allows you to really focus on just squeezing the chest. And this was just before the fastest stretch of the next exercise, which is the pec deck, a triple drop step to a failure. So remember, always keep the shoulder blades back, keep the chest high. Don't let your shoulders round forward because then it brings in your front delts and your traps. And if you've got the same problem as I do, where your front delts want to do everything, even if you're training legs, they still want to do some shit, then make sure your shoulders don't round forward, keep the chest high and really squeeze the middle of the chest. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, that pre-workout turbo, pretty damn good. Tasted nice, the apple flavor was good, and it gave me good energy throughout the whole workout, so I'll be using that one again. All right, guys, so we just finished our chest session. So I'm out of breath, so excuse the pauses. But now hitting a cardio, about 35 minutes. But yeah, intense session. Always good to train the beast. So our aim is to inspire and to motivate. Like and share. If you want to be part of the movement, all you have to do is watch your follow. Believe me, you will learn things, your body will change, and we'll be right next to you the whole way through. The channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, comment, share. Let me know what you think of the video, guys. I want to know what you guys want to see. So yeah, let us know what you think of the video. But yeah, until next time. Please.